Here I have two rugs that I have started to crochet using t-shirt yarn. So the t-shirt yarn is running in the middle there and you crochet it together. Color-wise there are many different ways you can do that. This here one has the same t-shirt yarn all the time but it looks different when you change the color of the yarn that you crochet with. In this other one there are changes in both the t-shirt yarn color and the yarn we crochet with. So you can create whatever kind of a color combination you like. So you need t-shirt yarn that you can either buy or cut up yourself. And then you need cotton yarns in whatever color you choose. And then what you need is a crochet hook that goes with the yarn. So you need to select the size of the crochet hook according to what goes with your yarn. I'm going to use a 3 mm one here and the other one's 3, 350. You can check my video description for links where to buy these. Before starting, cut the end of the t-shirt yarn so that it's tapered in. Easier to start that way. So like this here. To start, make a tight slip knot. It needs to be tight because otherwise it won't hold. Then take your t-shirt yarn and set the slip knot in front of it, not too close to the tip. And get the yarn over from behind it and make a tight stitch there. Then chain one and uh, go a little bit further and uh, get the yarn around the t-shirt yarn, pull it to the front, yarn over and again make a stitch. And continue like that. Always chain one and then go round the t-shirt yarn and make a single crochet stitch round it. And we'll continue like this a bit more until we can make this into a ring. So a few more stitches round it. And you need to make them quite tight, especially here in the beginning. Chain one, a stitch round it. And uh, let's see if we now have enough so that we would be able to get round. Not yet. We need to get a little bit bigger round there. Again chain. And I'll make one more. It's not possible to give an exact number how many stitches you need in the beginning because it depends on how thick your t-shirt yarn is and chain one and now we probably have enough to twist this round so uh, twist it round into a sort of a tight coil like that there and uh, you need to have enough stitches in the beginning there before doing this so that where you are at after twisting it round that there are stitches above here that where you can attach it to. So I already have chained one and now at the same time as going round my t-shirt yarn I insert my hook into this here in between those two stitches there. And then get the yarn over and pull it through so that at the same time I attach it into the stitch as well as go round the t-shirt yarn and then a stitch there so we can see that now it stays together round chain one 
and from now on we will always attach our stitches into the previous round and uh, you need to do it in the beginning you need to do it quite often so I put that into the same space then chain one and continue and now I'll insert the hook into the next space between the stitches and chain one and again into that same space and this is how we continue into there at first here you need to have two in each of these spaces and the bigger it gets the more the less often we need to need to increase like that now make sure that you don't tighten this at all it needs to sort of set the, settle there in a natural manner without being stretched at all So continue like this for a while and then we'll look into how we need to put the stitches so that the rug we are making stays flat. So now it's a little bit bigger and uh, what you need now is the tip of how to keep it flat so that it doesn't start to go like this as if it was a basket or that it doesn't start to go wavy because you have too many stitches. So there is a very simple trick for that. Chain one. What you need to look is that the new stitch you are making the stitch that we can't get here is always pointing directly towards the center of our crochet and because of that it's never important if your stitch goes to the right or to the left of the stitch below as long as it goes directly downwards and doesn't pull sideways so here downwards goes in here then I chain one and uh, again straight down so it goes in here and continue here so as it gets bigger and bigger there will be less and less situations where you need to put more than one stitch into the one gap between stitches here I still need to have it there and uh, this really is how you continue it just gets bigger and bigger of course all the time little by little and uh, a couple more stitches here so keep going and next I'll show how to change the t-shirt yarn color. I'm changing the color now we're here with the bigger one and you need to cut both of the new yarn and the old one so that it goes into a point tapered. So I'll cut it like this here. So take the new yarn and put it behind the one we have been working on and then continue so that it's a bit hard in the beginning here continue so that when you go round get the stitch that you go round both of them here then chain one and now check that they are both there and your next stitch and so on one, 
always chaining one and into the next stitch. So you keep going like this until you come to the end of the old yarn and then you will just have the new one. Like this here. And like in the beginning, you always need to check that when you make the next stitch that it goes directly towards the center so that it's not slanted so that you would skip and take a stitch from there or somewhere but always directly downwards so that all the stitches always point towards the center like that and so on so just continue until your rug or whatever you are making is big enough also check out this video how to use this same technique but making a rectangular rug going back and forth thank you for watching